Four construction pros from Con Expo 17 here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And with me now is Arnold Free, who is the Chief Commercial Officer of CM Labs Simulations. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you. Well, give us an idea what you're bringing to the show and what you're displaying. So CM Labs develops training simulators for um, both uh, cranes and heavy equipment operators. And uh, so we're showing those uh, those simulator products here here at Con Expo. One of the one of the machines that I, I understand you're showing is a Vortex simulator. Yes, that's your name that you've placed on it. Yeah. So Vortex is our product name. So the Vortex training simulator is uh, is the product that we're we're right. marketing here at Con Expo. Give me an idea of what it takes to train somebody. Let's say a, a contractor hires an operator, and they're not really adept at a particular type of machine. Yeah. Does your equipment give them that ability to learn on a specific type of machine? Yes, so we, uh, we offer training many different types of machines. So that's one of the unique features about our product is that with a single simulator, you can train on many different types of cranes, mobile cranes, tower cranes, conventional crawler cranes, as well as heavy equipment, <clears throat> backhoes, loaders, et cetera, excavators. So uh, that, that does allow for uh, training using a single simulator and a wide range of machines. And really what our simulators do is they fill that gap between the classroom theory and the uh, learning on the real machine. So that it provides um, students with a lot more seat time in a simulator and uh, gives them a much wider range of experiences and really more seat time and as I said, filling that gap before getting on the real equipment. Have you discovered that uh, the simulator training, the simulator itself, is a, is, is a better vehicle to train than just the theory and the book learning? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely complements and it doesn't replace seat time and real right. equipment, of course, right. but it does allow you to learn a lot more in a classroom setting 24-7, it doesn't matter what the weather is outside, right. Right. you can train on a simulator. And the other thing you can do with a simulator that you can't do on real equipment is train for unexpected situations. So for ah. example, in lifting um, sling brakes and with heavy equipment, equipment failures, and also so train students also how to react, not only learning in um, conventional situations, but also learning about uh, the unexpected. Potential emergency situations right. and things that nobody can foresee, but yet you can program into that simulation. Exactly, and uh, so it really does provide a wider learning experience. And the other thing is you can really learn a lot of the basics about machine control before you get on the real equipment. Right. And you can do it in a classroom setting. It also means that a single instructor can be managing many students on simulators. And uh, so that really improves that uh, instructor to student ratio. And especially when we have such shortage of qualified instructors these days. Right. And uh, simulators do allow for a lot of self-paced learning. So that really allows students to get a lot of the basics in, in a simulated environment. And then those skills transfer over into the real equipment. So they're more efficient and they're not learning just you know basic things. When they get on the real equipment, they're already equipped to do right. uh, certain level of performance. From your experience, is there a, a, a greater or expanding groundswell of interest in the industry itself? Yes, definitely. Uh, trades training schools are using simulators more and more, and uh, as well as equipment fleet owners and, and also the OEMs. You can see a lot of the OEMs oh, here okay. at Con Expo are showing um, equipment simulation. So the OEMs are adopting the technology more and more. So. So yes, we're seeing a lot. Well, more I know from here. past experience that the OEMs, as part of the, 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 the product itself, as a contractor comes in and buys a piece of equipment, they will bring their individuals in to train on it on right. their simulators. But your simulators are different than what theirs are. Yeah. So we offer a more general solution. So we're not we're not training on just a specific OEM's equipment and that allows us to train in a wider range of equipment as well. And you, are you a, a, able to have one of your simulators placed in the, in the physical confines of a contractor? Or 
Yes, so, so fleet owners are purchasing simulators not only for training operators, uh, but also assessing their current operators uh, as well, okay. and refresher skills training sure. as well. Yeah, it's always important. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because you have a booth here. Yes. You have a simulator set up? We have several simulators set up, so both are entry-level trainer solutions to full immersive, multi-screen, you know, very immersive motion-based simulators. And where's your uh, booth located at the show? It's in the Gold Hall. Gold Hall. Yes. Okay, excellent. Well, certainly, folks, if you're at the show, or you're coming to the show in the next couple of three days, stop by and see the CM Lab simulations in the Gold Lot. Yeah. And uh, I want to thank you much for thank stopping you. by. Arnold Free, who is the Chief Commercial Officer with CM Lab Simulations. It's a pleasure. I'm very Great. happy to hear your message. and. Wish you much success. Thank you for taking the time to uh, talk to You're us. You're more than welcome. Thanks Great. a lot. Thank you.